Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this week I want to share with you my version of the traditional southern Italian dish melanzane alla parmigiana. So let's go straight on to the recipe. So the first thing that we need to do is slice the aubergine and I like to do it vertical to get bigger slices. The next thing is we're going to grill it. Now traditionally the aubergine is fried, but I think it really gets very oily because aubergine are like sponge-like vegetables, so they absorb a lot of oil. So I prefer to grill it in a skillet with a little bit of oil. This way it cooks beautifully and it's very waistline friendly. Once all the aubergine has been grilled, let's go ahead and prepare the cheese. So I'm cutting here the mozzarella and also we're going to use some parmesan cheese. If you don't have parmesan cheese, you can also use grana padano. It's a good alternative. Okay, so once all the ingredients have been prepared, now it's just a matter of assembling the, the dish. So I used, uh, for my tomato sauce, I used my traditional Italian recipe. I'll leave the link in the description box below for you to check out. You can use any other tomato sauce recipe that you may have. For this recipe, I used chopped tomatoes rather than passata because it was what I had at home. But normally I would use passata if in it just the sausage just comes out thicker and, and much nicer i think so now it's just really assembly so at the bottom in a baking um tray or a baking oven uh, safe dish i put some olive oil and then i put a layer of tomato sauce and then a layer of grilled aubergine mozzarella cheese and i like to add some basil le leaves as well this is not traditional but i really like the flavor that it gives to the overall dish so it's just a really an assembled job of just creating the layers of aubergine tomatoes cheese basil and then aubergine tomato cheese and basil until you complete the whole height of the dish Once all the layers have been completed, I like to finish with a layer of mozzarella cheese and then on top I like to add the grated more uh, parmesan cheese or grana padano depending on what you're using and this just give it, gives it that cheesy top that once it's baked in the oven it's just crispy on the top and it's delicious for 15 minutes and it comes out like this really gooey and cheesy on the top and the absolutely beautiful and delicious layers of flavors of aubergine and tomato and cheese and it's absolutely fantastic well thank you for